want hot fun but cheap fun schools out and parents are budgeting now. Some of them may spend thousands on their children's activities this summer. So we're going to rebudget with personal financial expert Leslie Ann Scorgi about the best ways to manage these costs when your children reach school age. And before then, that's when they start going into these camps and that. And that's when kids are expensive, right, Leslie? That's it's right. not when they're little babies. That's, that's cheap. It's actually, that is the cheapest part of raising a child. We think, oh, well, parental leave might be expensive, but that can usually be well managed with some budget cutbacks. It's when they reach around the age of four and you start registering them for camps, ballet, hockey, and, and so go, much more. Yeah. Um, the other thing is parents used to do this in Ontario thinking that they had a tax credit. That has been gone for over two years now, so you can't rely on that. So how do you budget for it then? I mean, do you set rates for different kids at different ages, or what do you do? I recommend that first you ask your child what are they interested in so that they narrow it down to maybe two or three things. Otherwise, they'll get activity fatigue. Yeah. But from the ages of, you know, zero to four, spending $350, $350 or less is probably a good zone. Yeah. And then if they're between five and nine, up to $500, and then over nine to around the age of 14, around 750 to 1000 dollars is generally the max that you should be spending. That might actually seem quite skimpy though for yeah. Well, I mean some of the camps we talked about, I mean they can get up to $1000 a week, $500 yes, a week. They can be, but what parents can do is they can actually look at free public programs to complement what they're spending. And so I'll list a few. So you can register your child in library programs, rec center programs, and programs offered by the um, the school districts and mm -hmm. those tend to be very small to no fees so if you complement that with some paid programming you are very much able to keep within that budget why I mean when I was a kid we used to go down to the park and we had park leaders do they, I don't even do they still have that? they absolutely still Which have was a, that it was great they had baseball they had Craft, arts and crafts, things It's like a great that. way to put your tax money to use and get yeah, some money back. Yeah, take advantage back. of it. That's right. So I think for parents, the key message here is you've got to take care of your financial future. And I think of the airplane um, safety video that says secure your own mask before you secure mm -hmm. that of another person. What that means is you need to take care of your financial footing first, yep. then you can spend money on activity fees. And really, in plain terms, that means top up your RSPs, top up your tax-free savings accounts, save for your child's RESP, then spend money on activity fees. And also with the RSPs, when you're putting the money into that, you're getting money back. That's right. You could use the, your tax refund, for example, to pay for your child's summer camp. And that is a win-win all around. It's a, it's, it's a difficult time because you want to give your kids everything, but you want to find the balance. That's right. And it and takes some research, right? That's right. And so parents, just focus your energy on what you can do to complement paid programming with free programming, programming and also making sure that you're not fatiguing your children with too many activities. I once sat in on a presentation with David Chilton, author of The Wealthy Barber, mm -hmm. and he did a budget audit of a family, and they had spent more than 30% of their income on activities activity feeds, fees, and their children, not only were they super tired, but they never really honed their craft and expressed interest in any one of the things they were right, registered in. All right, Leslie Ann, thank you very much thank for joining you. us. And for more info, go to mevest.ca. We'll have more coming up on BT after the break.